On June 15, 2017, the Inuit Circumpolar Council, or ICC, will be 40 years young. ICC is the international voice of all the Inuit in this world. There are an estimated 160,000 Inuit living in the circumpolar regions of four countries, Greenland, Canada, Alaska in the USA, and Chukotka in Russia, with land that spans more than five million square kilometers. ICC was a dream of the late Eben Hobson Sr., mayor of the North Slope Borough, Alaska. He had a vision to unite all Inuit in the Arctic nations and speak as one people. His vision came to life with the first ICC General Assembly held in Barrow, Alaska in 1977. The Inuit Circumpolar Conference, as it was first named, was born. In 1980, the ICC General Assembly was held in New Greenland, where the ICC Charter and Bylaws were adopted. After Glasnost, Inuit from the former Soviet Union officially became full members of ICC, and Inuit were now truly united under four flags. Their delegation arrived to a thunderous and emotional ovation at the 1992 ICC General Assembly in Inuvik. At each assembly, 66 delegates from across the Circumpolar region developed policies and strategies that guide the activities of the organization for the coming four-year term. A new chair and executive council is also elected. Language protection, traditional Inuit culture, climate change, hunting rights, wildlife and marine management, economic development, indigenous rights, shipping, contaminants, these are just a sample of the issues tackled by the ICC assemblies, including elders and youth, over the decades. In 1983, ICC was granted consultative status at the United Nations under the Economic and Social Council, known as ECOSOC. Over the years, ICC has used its UN status to speak on behalf of Inuit on a wide variety of issues. In 2000, the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues was created and the Arctic was recognized as a region providing Inuit and Sami with a seat on the forum. The Permanent Forum is a key UN body dealing with Indigenous rights. In 1992, Inuit were again visionary in developing and adopting the principles and elements for a comprehensive Arctic policy which was groundbreaking at the time. A few years later, in 1996, ICC was an integral part in the creation of the Arctic Council, a central vehicle through which ICC advances the priorities of Inuit in the circumpolar context. The Council consists of eight Arctic states and six permanent participants, including ICC. In recent years, ICC adopted two substantive declarations relating to the vital relationship between Inuit and the land. A circumpolar Inuit declaration on sovereignty in the Arctic was adopted on April 28, 2009. A circumpolar Inuit declaration on resource development principles in Inuit Nunat was adopted on May 11, 2011. Many Inuit from all four countries have contributed to the success and achievements of ICC over the past 40 years. The ICC chairs have included Hans Paviar Rosing, Mary Simon, Eileen McLean, Keira Pangawi, Rosemary Kuptana, Akaluglinga, Sheila Watt-Cloutier, Patricia Cochran, Jimmy Stotts, and Ukalirizia. ICC General Assemblies have always gone beyond the political, social, and economic issues 
discussed at length during the day, to celebrate Inuit culture in the form of music, dance, poetry, food, and fashion in the evenings. At ICC, we hope you celebrate our 40 years of Inuit unity and advancing the Inuit cause at the global level.